HashiCorp sees cloud implementations of all shapes and sizes. But if you ask five different companies what's important to them, you'll likely get six different answers. However, if you ask nearly a thousand practitioners and decision makers from around the world, you're likely to uncover some trends. And that's exactly what we saw with the 2023 HashiCorp State of Cloud Strategy Survey. Before we dive into the latest results, let's take a look at how our Cloud Strategy Survey has evolved over the years. In 2021, our inaugural survey established that multi-cloud was a growing trend to keep an eye on. In 2022, the survey showed multi-cloud was established and delivering real business benefits to the organizations using it, and also revealed that security and skill shortages were two of the biggest blockers to multi-cloud adoption. This year, we wanted to see what practices led to successful multi-cloud adoption. The bottom line for 2023's survey is that cloud maturity matters when it comes to multi-cloud adoption. Companies that employ a combination of technology and organizational best practices at scale are receiving better multi-cloud outcomes. This reinforces the value of using a cloud operating model, which we've seen help companies boost their multi-cloud maturity. In the beginning, cloud resembled the Wild West as practitioners adopted a wide variety of ad hoc tools to address their most immediate needs. But over time, we've seen the rise of platform teams to help put standards in place around the use of enterprise tools, along with appropriate policies and guardrails designed to help control costs and increase security. The most advanced organizations are scaling these standards across multi-cloud implementations and even to their on-premises environments. That's why this year's survey ranked respondents into low, medium, or high cloud maturity groups based on their practices around infrastructure, security, networking, applications, and their use of platform teams. With that in mind, let's take a look at the numbers. In 2023, the turbulent macro economy is the elephant in the room. You might think economic factors would cause organizations to cut their cloud spending, but the survey showed 56% of organizations actually boosted cloud spending over the past year. The cloud is clearly providing a positive ROI for many organizations, and this is especially true of high maturity organizations, of which 92% say that multi-cloud is delivering business benefits or is expected to in the next 12 months. Not surprisingly, 62% of highly mature orgs that boosted their spending did so by an average of 16%. These orgs are blazing a trail, doubling down on their cloud investments, and it is paying off for them. How are these high maturity shops getting such positive results? Well, platform teams are a big part of the answer. This leads to our first major takeaway. Establish a platform team. And if you already have one, continue to scale its influence across your organization. Some organizations might protest that they lack the staff to create a successful platform team. Among our respondents who did not have a platform team, 36% cited a lack of staff and skills as a reason. Pulling at this thread, you might assume that the first step to solving this problem would be to find talented new employees. But top performers want to work in established environments where they can innovate. We see this in our survey. Uh, in our results, 74% of high maturity companies say multi-cloud helps them attract, motivate, and retain talent. Just like with platform teams though, cloud maturity takes time and talent. Our respondents rank skill shortages as the top barrier to multi-cloud. In this chicken and egg scenario, what comes first? It's difficult to find staff in low maturity organizations, but it's also hard to create a platform team without the proper staff. This is one reason why HashiCorp has worked to develop a strong partner community. Companies of all maturity levels occasionally need assistance, which is why HashiCorp works with more than 500 system integrators to support the success of our customers. 
our most strategic partners are put through rigorous competency tests to guarantee that they can help you adopt, standardize, and scale HashiCorp's multi-cloud products across your entire organization. In addition, HashiCorp has resident solutions architects and engineers who can join your team to bring expert guidance and implementation. If you're curious about more ways to address the multi-cloud skill gap, watch our video about the 2022 State of Cloud Strategy Survey. Speaking of which, the 2022 survey uncovered security as the number one barrier to multi-cloud. It should come as no surprise then that actually, uh, security is ranked as the number one benefit of multi-cloud in 2023. How can that be? Ultimately, this is two sides of the same coin. Multi-cloud operations forces security out of necessity and creates a unified strategy for enterprises to rally around. It's much less likely to be multi-cloud if you don't have established and consistent ways for developers to approach consuming secrets or service-to-service -service networking. There is evidence for this as well. So let's take a deeper look at the top uh, security concerns of our organizations. At number one, we have password, credential, and security leakage, which was cited by half of our respondents. This is a natural result of multi-cloud operations and modern development practices where every single service brings its own identity or multiple sets of credentials. It's particularly interesting to know that 61% of low maturity orgs had this as a concern versus just 47% of high maturity orgs. To me, this speaks for itself. Stepping to the cloud involves working with a large number of secrets distributed over many locations. So becoming a mature cloud organization requires embedding a consistent strategy for secrets management across all of your platforms. This then aligns very closely to secrets management, which was named the second most important tool to the success of a cloud strategy. In addition to that, access control and session management was ranked as the third most commonly cited initiative for a successful cloud strategy. If you ask me, this is just the next logical step after controlling your secrets. Many of those secrets are used by employees to access resources, so teams need a tool that can broker those connections to private cloud resources using those secrets. The most important advice here is to choose complementary tools so that you don't create multiple different silos of secrets. For example, our ecosystem leverages HashiCorp Boundary to access secrets from HashiCorp Vault. But this should really be a best practice regardless of the tools that you use. Overall, focus on security and establish agnostic standards. Security must be a priority to adopt multi-cloud and become a mature cloud organization. HashiCorp is uniquely positioned to help do this and was awarded AWS Security Partner of the Year in 2022. This is an incredible honor and speaks to the progress that HashiCorp has made in the space of zero trust security. While this award may have come from AWS, the HashiCorp tools are designed to work across all platforms, clouds and runtimes, which is why we have become such a critical partner for companies pursuing multi-cloud capabilities. To wrap up here, here are the top priorities from the 2023 survey to become a high maturity organization or to remain one. One, establish and scale a platform team. Two, leverage partners and services to overcome skill barriers. And three, prioritize security when approaching multi-cloud. Maturity matters, and the only way to reach true multi-cloud maturity is one step at a time. <laughs>